Hey everybody! Um, before I say anything else, I do want to warn you guys that my voice is going to be sounding really strange in this video. I'm getting over, ironically enough, con flu <laughs> as I'm filming this, even though I'll probably be putting it up about a week later than I filmed it. Um, but yeah, so just please bear with me. I am no longer feeling like hell on earth. But I do still have those kind of sickness residue-y things. So I probably sound really funny right now. I know I sound really funny in my head. Just wanted to put that out there. Moving right along, I had a wonderful time at RuffleCon. I, if you haven't seen my vlog, go watch it. I'll put the link down below. Not only did I make a lot of new friends and have... A lot of wonderful experiences that I'll treasure forever but I also got some pretty good stuff too so here is the haul portion of my RuffleCon experience I did buy a lot of things well I bought a decent amount of things but I also got a lot of free things both as a VIP and just from the con and for modeling and etc so the first thing I want to start off with is I'm not starting in any particular order, I just have like a pile of um, all my stuff right here. I bought Kimura Yu's new art book, I believe this is her first, yeah, her first art book. It's super cute, I can't really, I probably can't show you all of it because, yeah, you'd probably just have to buy it for yourself, but it is super cute, and it was $17, and since she was there when I bought it, she signed my copy, it's so cute, yes. I love, I love it so much. Also from her booth, I bought a set of three pictures of her. And these were $8 for the set, and they had a ton of different varieties. And the thing was, and you probably saw this if you've seen my vlog, if you bought one of these sets, she drew your face for you just right there. And so... I was super excited to get this. I mean, Kimura, you drew my face. And when I bought it for her, she drew on my face. It's probably nowhere near as funny to you guys as it is to me, but just in my own head, in my own little world, it's just the funniest, funniest thing to me. I also got this beautiful headpiece from Sweet Mildred. It's one of her skull head dresses but it's beautiful and it's super spoopy for Halloween and I'm not like the biggest Halloween person a lot of people are for some reason I'm much more of a Christmas person so you'll see many Christmas videos from me but not so many Halloween videos and I do apologize in advance for that the big thing that I was super excited for and pretty much the main reason why I got a VIP ticket and probably the main reason a lot of people got their VIP tickets was for early access to the marketplace. And what did I do my first day there? I bought a bonnet! Yes, I am so super proud of myself. I got there, oh excuse me, super early and I stood in line and it's beautiful. The last sort of set of things that I bought was on Saturday and I bought a couple things from Lolita Collective. First I bought two beautiful postcards. I do not know who did the art. Forgive me. If anybody who knows who drew those, please let me know. These really cute hair clips. They were four dollars each. A little bit more than I had wanted to pay for them. So I just bought them to wear at the bottom of braids or some such. So just a beautiful pale pink. Next I bought a whole bunch of little rings. I bought this cake ring. Super cute. And I love this thing so much. <laughs> I can't tell you how much. I bought this cat. I don't know if you can see these or not. But it has a beautiful brown tabby cat with a bow on it. I bought, I actually bought three of these. Beautiful pale pink one and this kind of dusted gold one. I don't even know if you can really see these or not very well. It's probably not focusing. 
but I also got a mystery color for my giveaway. I reached 1,000 followers on Instagram over RuffleCon weekend, and so I've been planning for that giveaway for quite a few months now, and so I've been slowly collecting pieces for it. It's not much, but I hope you guys will really like it. Stay tuned, you'll find out what color I got. The last thing from the Lita Collective I got was this brooch. It's basically just a teddy bear, but if you guys don't know, my thing, my whole thing is teddy bears. So I had to have it. It was a little bit pricey. It was $22, I think. And there's another one that I wanted with Marie Antoinette, but I waited too long, but... That's all the stuff that I bought. I did get some freebies as a VIP. The first freebie that I got was this little set from Hey Nilly. She had a booth there. I'm just gonna open this up. I put it all back in the packaging so it would look pretty for you. But this like really super glittery like art book catalog. See, it just has kind of like all their prints in it. And then we also got a whole bunch of postcards. I probably have a lot of these already. The last thing that we got was a set of special limited edition tights. And I know this because I'm not going to take it out, but it has Rufflecon 2015 on the butt. I also got... And then it looks like it's from Ghastly Gear. I got this pin with... It's actually really, really thin. I could probably bend it really easily. But it has the Queen Elizabeth stamped on it. One of the things was this really cute drawstring bag, but I just put all of my stuff in it. Simplicity was there. Don't get me started on that. But I did get some ribbon lace, so that was nice. I got two Rufflecon stickers. This one I do have to take it out to show you because otherwise you're not going to be able to see it at all through this bag. But Storm Song Studio gave us this really cute pendant. Just a little glass vial full of dried moss or I don't even know what. But to me it looks like super Christmassy. So I'm excited. They gave me a whole bunch of pins. I love this one. This one says, Every day I'm bustling. Never enough lace. More Brando. Spelled funny. Keep calm and ruffle on. I thought there was another one somewhere, but I guess that's it. From Morgan NYC. A really beautiful black angel wing or feather, whatever. Probably from a crow or a raven, since that's what they're logo is. But this kind of moth butterfly flying bug thing. A pretty heavy duty metal <laughs> heavy duty metal Rufflecon 2015 VIP crown pin. No idea what I'm gonna do with that. A photo that I got with Kaye and Bobby at the tea party. As a model for Triple Fortune after the show, they gave us all a set of free tights. Here's the postcard that they signed to go with it. But it's this very strange... These roses have eyeballs on it. You can see by the back picture that it has, like, lace and skeletons' hands grabbing your ankles. And it's beautiful, but totally not my style. The only time I would ever wear these would probably be Halloween and even then I don't know if I have anything that would even match these. So unfortunately I'm probably going to sell these just because I can't give them the due respect that somebody else probably would. On that note, I also got something that I did put for sale because it is really not my style. I won from the Tea Party Raffle this, it's absolutely gorgeous, the quality is amazing. I've never heard of the brand Baby Ponytail before, but their quality is pretty amazing. There's their little logo. 
I got a head bow and JSK set from them, but if I can just huh, hold it up for you. It's really cute and whimsical and just, but it, I don't, it's not my style again. It would just, in all honesty, it would just sit in my wardrobe not being worn. And I believe that's it. Yeah. It feels like I bought so much more just because it was so hard to get everything in my suitcase. But I think the biggest thing was just trying to get my bonnet back home. That was probably a lot of stuff. This is probably going to be a very long video. And I do apologize for that if it's longer than 10 minutes, which it probably will be. Thank you for sticking through to the end. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at everything that I got from MuffleCon. And hopefully seeing what I got will inspire you to go next year. Because it is so worth it. It is so wonderful. I just, uh, I had such a great time, and this is super sappy, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, I will see you guys next time, hopefully, when I'm no longer sick, <laughs> bye.